What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Get into another reaction. Beautiful Mashal, episode 9, season 2. This shit is heating up, bro. I was so hyped last episode to see Wahlberg actually getting into action. Supposedly going against another friend of his who were both students of this person named Adam. Who, I guess his magical power, or, you know, just his... Just him in general, you could compare him to a god, apparently. According to Ro, we were getting this story from Ro's perspective of him telling it to the orange haired kid. And that's how we kind of got this background information of who Wahlberg is back in the day, how he knows Innocent Zero. And they were both apparently apprentices of this guy named Adam, who was insane, like a legend in, in this universe. So, with that being said, Wahlberg facing Innocent Zero literally moved themselves so they don't get anybody else caught up in this shit because who knows how the fuck crazy they're going to go off. I mean, I'm expecting maybe this episode is going to have some absolute insane animation, you know, rivaling from what we've seen some moments before, like Rain, whenever he genuinely brought out his third line. And that was absolutely stunning. I'm expecting something along the lines of that. And I don't know how long it's going to be. I feel like we might still be jumping around because Mashal, from what I can tell, at least in these past couple episodes with this invasion going on, we like to jump around and see what's going on with everybody. Like we spent some time with Lance and Barrett last episode, them getting turned into babies, fighting that guy, dealing with the demons, as well as the other divine visionaries that are with them, Caldo and Ulter, I think his name is. And mash dealing with the spiky dude i can't remember his name either but he's part of innocent zero the blind guy we saw him we saw him at the end of the first season so mash is fighting him again and then we have Wahlberg and innocent zero up in the goddamn sky about to do who knows what so maybe we jump around again with a multiple groups of what's going on in this invasion this episode or maybe it's solely focused on Wahlberg and Innocent Zero. And if it is, I would fucking love that because I'm I'm like hyped up to see him actually do some crazy shit. And we saw at the end of last episode, the last thing we saw of them facing off against each other, Innocent Zero was starting to bring out some sort of crazy spell where it looked like there was some some sort of chained up coffin or, or casket behind him that he was bringing up with this, what is it called? What, did, what was the word that Wahlberg used? A forbidden spell, I think. So if that's a coffin, bro, I would assume somebody's in that fucking coffin. And I was saying, like, if it actually is somebody, we were just learning about the background information of who these apprentices studied under. Adam. If this motherfucker brings out Adam, it's going to be a huge problem. And if he does, from the background information that we got, I wouldn't be surprised. But it was it was giving me even more shooting exam vibes, how I've been saying that relation sort of between these two shows, even though Naruto is so long ago and the, they're completely separate opposites in terms of the power and everything. Like this is magic instead of ninjas. But that sort of relation has been jumping out at me time and time again. So the fact that he's bringing out somebody from the dead, if that is the case, we had, the coffin isn't opened yet. Who the fuck knows what's in there? It could just be fucking insane power or something. That gives me shooting exam vibes because of Oro Orochimaru did the same shit. He brought out fucking old Hokages to take out fucking um, the third Hokage. Like that shit, bro. That, that Those relations were like really jumping out at me uh, towards the end of the last episode, seeing that and then all the other stuff that we've seen before in the, the past couple episodes. So that's pretty much where we're at. I'm expecting absolute greatness. Hopefully we see most of like a, like a real fight between Wahlberg and Innocent Zero, but I wouldn't be complaining if we jump around with everybody again because MASH is handling this fucking spike dude like no problem either. You know what I'm saying? This dude's this dude's shocked. Like he's literally holding his face after getting punched. He's like, this guy and, and MASH is like, I've, I've seen your attacks before. Like, you think, I, you think I'm going to fall for it again? You're sadly mistaken. So that's what we're getting into. That's where we're at. Can't wait to get into it. Let's get into it. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below, comment, subscribe for new, hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Mashal Season 2, Episode 9. <laughs> yep. That's his name, Cell. That's right, okay. Rocked his shit. You know that's not it, though. Yeah, that's where you said that cold ass shit. He's like, I've seen it already. 
The fuck out of here with that shit, bro. I've already seen it before. He doesn't forget magic, but he forgets faces. Okay, good to know. <laughs> All right, come on. Bro, the first thing we see is this motherfucker, bro. Adam Jobs. We get his full name and everything. Mm hmm. Several centuries. Damn. Wow. He's literally like a forefather of magic in this world. He created the Bureau of Magic. Social assistance to those who weren't able to use magic. Oh, wow. Including Wahlberg. Oh, there's three of them. Who's the third one? We got two of these motherfuckers right here. Bro, oh, okay. It's coming out. Yeah, it's him, bro. It's him. It's gotta be. Yep. Yeah. That's that motherfucker. I told y'all, man. I told y'all. Yo, nah. Oh my god, dude. Here we go. You gotta fight your teacher. Not only do you have to fight your friend, you gotta fight your teacher. Oh, uh, so he's basically like a puppet. Oh, and they, he literally uses him like a puppet, too. Marionettes are my specialty. Here we fucking go, bro. See, right from the beginning of the episode, if that was that was <laughs> definitely foreshadowing, and it came real quick. He once hailed his master. Is that his wand? Oh! Couldn't fight his lifespan, so he just died of old age. Oh, he's jealous. Because the teacher maybe had... I mean, he probably didn't mean to play favorites, but Wahlberg was always, like, the one that was focused on. To protect themselves, yeah. So he didn't even really believe in this way of thinking back in the day. <laughs> so see, yeah, Wahlberg didn't even agree with that way of thinking back in the day, so he learned to respect those ideals from his master as he got older. And this is why he's so fond of M.A.S.H. Because Adam did what he could to make it acceptable to not have magic. As much as he could. Damn right, we in right now! We in right now! Go ahead, come on, show yourself, baby, come on! Come on! Come on! Yo, shut this dude up! Damn! Hole clear as day through that mountain. Alright, yes, this is really prime fucking Adam right here, dude. An opponent's magic into the void? That's crazy. Dark magic cannot be repelled by other magic. Bro, Adam was basically fucking Asta, dude. Damn. Although it's actually magic, it's dark magic. Asta has no magic, it's anti magic. Interesting, interesting. You talk too much, bro. You're about to get smacked up if you keep talking like that. Bro, I'm telling you, you're gonna get smacked up. Damn. Repelled. Oh! 
Did he sever the strings? Oh, he severed his whole arm. Wait, what the hell's going on here? Control space? <laughs> oh! Come on, how are you gonna get out of this one? You underestimated him, bro. Mm. You fucking with the wrong guy, bro. You just said yourself that he's the top of the current magic world. Y'all thought you could, you thought you could fuck with him? Yeah, you're relying too much on that. You think you're unstoppable because you have that dark magic that was so great from his master. You're just controlling him. <laughs> You're getting way too high, buddy. Yeah, he's. There's no problem for him. Ooh! Yo, he looks so fucking dope. Yo, not. They're going crazy. Just like I had hoped. It's too late, bud. See you later. Gone. Mm. Yep. Even if he didn't agree or didn't think that way when he was young, he's lived a long life. And he respects his master. What's his actual name? And am I tripping? I'm pretty sure he has four lines on his face, bro. Like, after he brought out his genuine third line, I guess. Unless, like, the other mark is just one mark. The two arrows, that's just one, I guess, maybe. Yeah, they're just trying to fucking waste your time and, and energy. Don't even worry about it. He, ha he handles himself no problem. Don't even worry about it. He already, remember, remember, guys, he already seen this magic before. He already seen it. Easy dubs. Hearts of six blood relatives. That's why he wants him. So are they all actually related or because he said create he didn't say procreate Yeah, I guess yeah Yeah, basically yeah <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You know, the disrespect. He's not even trying to be disrespectful. <laughs> Try to go to sleep to escape his reality. Oh. Uh. Okay, I see. So yeah, that's how he created his kids. <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up! I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Get your ass over here, bitch! I'm gonna fucking handle you! <laughs> Yo! Come on. Alright. Oh! Genuine third line? Oh shit! Come on! 
He hasn't gone. He hasn't gone against a genuine triple liner yet. He went against a Master Kane user. Yeah, his one looks crazy. God damn. Don't even trip. I ain't worried at all. Mash gonna handle this shit. Yeah, that shit's sharp. My place of learning, how could you? Diamond tipped, oh, okay, so yeah, the hardest material in the world. They're tracking. Destructo disc type shit, he's dodging everything. This is just two of them though, right? He hasn't released two others. <laughs> yeah, the way he's dodging this shit. Yep, okay. That's what I thought. Four of them is too much. <laughs> hey, hey, chill, chill, chill. He's figuring it out, bro. Yo, don't talk too much. Don't talk too much. You know something I just noticed this episode too? Cell's voice actor is Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Oh. He's gonna simultaneously attack with his fucking diamond cutters and the spikes. Yep, see, he's fucking holding everybody in the Coliseum that's still frozen in time hostage. Oh, you fucking. You did it now. Mash gonna get serious now. Ooh, is he gonna counterattack? <laughs> What's he doing? What is he planning? <laughs> he wasn't expecting him to actually give up, and then it looks. That's what it looks. Oh my god, Mash. Yo, this guy... How fucking hilarious is that? Oh, shit. He can armor himself. Damn, it actually hit him? Or is he just trying to get him to let his guard down? There's no way he's dead. Wait, it's not him? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Cream puff party, let's go! <laughs> is this how he's gonna defeat him? Just making him choke and not be able to breathe from cream puffs? There's no... Fucking way, dude. And then just choke him out. It half enters hallucinations. Oh! Mm. Yeah, so he just had him in a headlock for mad long, and this dude was fucking hallucinating that he was dying to green puffs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Mash. Good fucking shit, baby. Protected everybody in the school. Everybody. Ain't nobody can talk shit now, bro. You gonna try and bully me? Oh, okay. I saved your life, but, you know, whatever. Done. Wow, what? Damn, that was quick. That felt really fast, bro. Damn. Hey. Amazing episode. That was exactly what I fucking wanted. Wahlberg and Instant Zero actually going at it. We saw Adam come out. That's what I thought was going to happen. And then the rest, MASH just fucking sell up, dude. Good shit, baby.
Alrighty guys, what another spectacular episode of Mashal. That was pretty much everything I fucking wanted in this episode. We didn't fully stay with Wahlberg and Instant Zero like I thought might happen, but I'm not surprised. Uh, but there was two main fights this episode that were fucking taken care of. And that was in the beginning, Wahlberg versus Innocent Zero, but really not Innocent Zero. That's coming later, obviously. He just summoned Adam with this forbidden spell. You know, their teacher, the master, the, the, the holy grail of the magic society, the one that, you know, basically made everything as the way it is today. Educational system for magic, Bureau of Magic, he created that, all that stuff, and had three pupils, two of them including Innocent Zero and Wahlberg. So there's a third pupil. I don't know who it is. I wonder if we'll get introduced to them at some point, maybe at the end of the season, or uh, maybe not. I don't know. Or if they're even around still. Maybe, maybe they're already gone or something. I don't know. But that was the first half of the episode, and it was it hit every spot I wanted it to. That shit was so fucking good. Wahlberg taking on his master's prime form in dark magic, but Wahlberg is at his also strongest. You know what I'm saying? He's lived a long life, and he said, "Yo, I'm at my strongest now, so don't even. I'm, I'm not even tripping." And the guy that was controlling him, because he's apparently his specialty is marionettes, which is like basically puppeteering and whatnot. He was the one that was controlling Adam and making Adam use those spells and whatnot, those you know, dark magic spells. He was talking big. He was thinking that, you know, since from the stories that he've heard and the legend of Adam himself and how insane his magic was, that he was going to be able to mop the floor with Wahlberg easy. Just be able to do no wrong and, and get through this easy. But nope, Wahlberg is at his fucking strongest and he handled the dark magic and counterattacked perfectly. And uh, just goes to show that his magic is also very powerful. I mean, he's able to control space. So he was basically just redirecting, not redirecting, but basically sending this dark magic every time that he tried to attack into a different dimension, essentially, is what I'm thinking it means. And also got rid of one of his arms and part of his face doing the same thing. And it was like, oh, don't worry. You're, you're not, you haven't lost it completely. It's just in a completely different space far from here. And so he starts freaking out, but he, th he still thinks he has the upper hand and Wahlberg just fucking unleashes this one crazy attack where I guess completely sends Adam and the puppeteer dude wherever. He's just gone. Just don't even worry about him anymore. He doesn't even exist. Deleted from the show. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming. So with that also being Adam that got caught up in that, the, the, you know, the puppet basically that came out of that coffin. I wonder if he, like Adam's completely gone now, like that forbidden spell cannot be done anymore is if you need to retrieve the body or not, or if it just dispels since it's too far away from the caster or like, you know, whatever Wahlberg handled it that, okay, you could bring like, it's just, just just cast it. Like he can summon him again or whatever, you know, whenever he wants to, that's the case. That's pretty fucking OP. Uh, but I would like to think it's the former where, you know, it's just gone. Like, and if that's the case, that's actually kind of crazy because this is the first time they used it and Wahlberg handled it pretty fucking effortlessly. And if he, and if Adam never shows up again through that spell, I feel like that was kind of a waste. I mean, I feel like Innocent Zero had to have done a lot to be able to even make that spell possible. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it, the work put into that didn't really match the reward. Like Wahlberg handled that shit effortlessly. So that's what we saw in the first half of the episode. And then it looks like, you know, Wahlberg and Innocent Zero are going to face off now because it's really just them. So who knows what Innocent Zero is going to pull out of his ass next. But that's where we left off in the first half of the episode. And then we get over to Mash and Cell. And, yo, Cell as well. Talking his shit, bro. Thinking like he's going to be able to handle Mash. No problem. Talking about how he's a, you know, a defect or whatever because he doesn't have magic. And, you know, he was, he's been away for so long or whatever. Because apparently, including Mash, and there's five others and Cell, I guess. These are two of the six. Innocent Zero created basically six children that he will they he will sacrifice all of them for himself and it gives him an immortal heart apparently so he can be immortal he can live forever and that's his whole goal in this thing and Cell and I guess the rest of the children I don't know if you've seen all of them I, I doubt it I don't think he'd bring all of them to the battlefield if you know risking you know losing all of them or whatever and the only and the, that's the only reason why he wants Mash is I don't know why he I don't know how Mash got out of that situation in the first place because if he was always a kid you know from the get-go and you know like did he lose him like there's no way you just lose your, your creation that is so important to your goal of becoming immortal right so I wonder how Mash ended up just 
being away from the vicinities of Innocent Zero and ended up living so- somewhat a normal life under his, you know, actual father that took him in. That's that's curious information that I hope we get at some point because if he just if you just would have never <laughs> gave him up or whatever the case was, if you just always had him in your clutches, you would have already been immortal a long time ago. At least I'm assuming. So that's the whole reason why they want him. Cell's talking about that, and then eventually he brings out he's a genuine triple liner too. So he, you know, full wand power, full magical power, everything. I mean, he's not one to be fucked with. Clearly, like he he was very strong, and Mash is just better. Like he's just better, smarter, and fucking way more hilarious. This man's did a lap around the academy to get behind his ass, and then just choked him the fuck out. Like, <laughs> you know, and that simultaneously saved everybody in the coliseum because he was threatening to fuck them up with the spikes above in the sky and uh also probably his you know diamond cutters from his wand or whatever and so yeah that i mean mash handled it pretty fucking swiftly and that shit was fucking hilarious when he showed up behind him like it, all the music just went quiet and like the, the like uh color of the whole like episode kind of went like this coolish blue like almost like you know your fucking heart just dropped down your fucking ass because <laughs> all of a sudden he's behind you and then he chokes him out and and the pov that we get first is from cell where it seemed like he was just <laughs> i was like there's no way he's actually being defeated by not being able to breathe and choking on cream puffs dude there's no fucking way if that actually happened i was <laughs> yo that's so trolly but sure enough he was hallucinating because he was losing oxygen uh to his brain so the what actually happened is mass just right before the attack hit you know he just fucking really clenched up his biceps in that fucking headlock he had amid and was still able to you know make him not be able to breathe even though he had that diamond you know in armor around him and yeah just made him fucking pass out done done deal fucking spikes above depleted everybody's safe so mash in my opinion obviously biggest help and most valuable asset down here where the rest of the students are where the fight started obviously lance and the rest of the divine visionaries doing their thing holding off the demons those are just demons bruh they just fucking ai you know what i'm saying <laughs> they're just bots this motherfucker actually took out one of the key members of of um innocent zero and in doing that saved pretty much everybody uh where their lives were being threatened by those spikes and they don't even know what's happening because they're frozen in time so hopefully they learn of that because i was thinking like yo there's no way you could talk shit to me now i just saved literally everybody literally without magic suck my dick bitch so mash is up that shit was that shit was amazing he's doing his thing and and, and saved everybody so you know obviously he needs to fucking get his props which i hope he does especially from alter the the glasses divine visionary i hope he finally comes around like all right you know he fucking did his thing you know what i'm saying like maybe i'm too fucking strict or too uptight or whatever the fuck get this stick out my ass so hopefully we we have to wait and see but it's not it's not over yet even though we took out most of the forces on on uh the uh ground where the coliseum is and the students i think demons are still spawning no matter what they just keep coming it seems like so i don't know if that's going to stop like who's actually in control of that if we're going to find who's in control of that or if it's just innocent zero himself and we have to wait for Wahlberg to fuck him up which uh, that's what i'm expecting next episode i think next episode is really going to be the big big fight between Wahlberg and innocent zero so i'm excited M- amazing stuff good shit is for mashal as usual so yeah that's gonna do it for me i hope y'all enjoyed the reaction if y'all did please like down below comment subscribe if you're new Hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.